question. When was the original Bible, which was written in Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek, when were they translated into other languages? Today, we know that the Bible has been translated into more than 2,400 languages. And the very first translation of the Bible, which is the Old Testament, was made into Greek. And it was called the Septuagint. And it was translated from the original Jewish, Hebrew and Aramaic. And the 39 volumes or 39 books of the Old Testament was translated into Greek. And that was done around the 250 to 150 BC. In fact, when Jesus quoted, it is written, he quoted the Old Testament. After the Septuagint, the Codex Sinaiticus and Codex Vaticanus were two such manuscripts that were approximately translated and finished in AD 330. Today, these two codexes, if you like, uh, are sitting in the British Museum in the Vatican Library in Rome, respectively. Since then, there are many versions of translation. You've got the Coptic version, you've got the Ethiopic version, the Gothic version, the Argentis version were all made. Then by about the 382 AD, the Latin Vulgate was then translated by the scholar Jerome. And it took him about 25 years, so he would have finished it around the early 400 AD. After which, then further translations of the Hebrew and the Greek Bible also happened. And these translations were into other languages like the Armenians, Slavics, Syriac, which is a later version of the Aramaic, the Bahairic, which is dialect of the Coptic, uh, translated into Arabic, into Anglo-Saxon, Persian, and Frankish. The first person who translated the entire Bible into the English language was John Wycliffe, 1329 to 1384. And for the next 145 years, Wycliffe's English translation was the only English language Bible and then followed by other versions of English language Bibles were the Coverdale version in 1535, the Great Bible in 1539, the Geneva Bible in 1557, and then, and then the well-known authorized version commonly known as the King James Version was finally translated in 1611. It remained as one of the most popular English version Bible for a long time until it was revived uh, in 1885. Then a hundred years or, or almost a hundred years later came the American Standard Version in 1901. And yet there was really another version of the King James Version. And of course, since then, from, from that point, there have been over two dozen of different English translations published and hundreds more in other language, languages. This is how and when the Bible was translated into other languages.